last game just finished and I immediately went to the car and I probably could have gone sooner but I wanted to make some minutes at work to be honest with you. Uh, the game itself, yeah, that was boredom pure. That was the last day of group play uh, from its worst side. Yesterday in the evening we had it from its best side. When there are many permutations everything can change it. It's drama pure. Um, this one, yeah, I think the fir first half there was still some soccer being played that was uh, kind of going somewhere with France dominating and maybe Denmark trying to hit on the counter but really not be uh, being very limited. I had the feeling whereas France, um, yeah, they made many changes to the uh, starting squad so yeah you couldn't expect much from them in that regard but at least there were some efforts. My problem was that and I um, full disclosure I haven't seen anything about the second game except the result and the way it happened. Uh, Peru made the one nothing early on uh, at that point it was clear that Denmark is not in danger anymore and France is not in danger anymore and when uh, after halftime Peru quickly made the second I don't understand why Denmark didn't go for it you could have put France maybe a little bit into trouble and try to get first spot uh, maybe it is because we don't know uh, whether Argentina will qualify if they would qualify, I still would li rather play them than Croatia. Croatia is really the team that you want to avoid. And I understand that France didn't want to play much, they just wanted to get the 0-0. Zero zero. Uh, although they made all those claims that you cannot play for 0-0, zero zero, I think you can shut it down and make little effort, especially if you see that your opponent also makes little effort. And yeah, maybe this played into that. Uh, everyone's saying we're afraid of Croatia, but that they're really afraid of or at least Denmark is afraid of Argentina and that's why they didn't play and they were quite happy with second place because they think well uh, Croatia is the known commodity whereas Argentina uh, we don't know if they qualify maybe they get on the roll and um, it can be dangerous um, if I'm France I definitely can see why I wouldn't want to play uh, um, Croatia because Croatia, as I said, is the known team and yeah, still all left to be decided. Um, there's really not much more I can say about that game. It was boring as hell. Uh, fortunately, I had stuff to do at work uh, and I didn't get too distracted. I actually got stuff done. So I more or less saw this game more from uh, talking, uh, from the commentator talking. Well, there's one more thing that we can talk about, that's the jersey matchup and that pretty much is as expected. Uh, if Denmark is at home, we would expect them to play in red with white pants and France in their away jerseys, um, which again, it doesn't look that bad from a distance. I just don't like the blue and red specks on it, um, which make it really look pyjama-like. But you know, um, the matchup, jersey matchup was okay. I saw also a picture of the other jersey matchup um, and now we have all jerseys in Group C have been seen and as far as I can tell this means we have seen all the jerseys issued for this World Cup except one, the Germany away jersey. Um, just let me go through it quickly, but yes, but yep. I think we have seen all in group A, B, we all have seen now all in group C, we've all seen in group D. Uh, same thing for group E. Group F, we have seen both Sweden jersey, we've seen both South Korea, we've seen both Mexico, so it's just a German jersey. In group E, we have already seen everything, and in group H, we have seen both Colombia jerseys, we have seen both Senegal jerseys, we have not seen the Japan away jersey, that's the one that's still missing, and we might not see that one so those two uh, Poland we on Poland away we also have not seen yet and yeah Poland is playing Japan I doubt that they will play in white race so okay there are three jerseys that we'll probably not see I don't think that Germany will play in their green shirts uh, against Korea unless they are really trying something special but I think Korea will play in the red and then Germany will have to play in white. So, but uh, going back to the jersey matchup, um, 
to Peru, Australia. Uh, what was that with um, Australia being too similar in their red to the Danish red? Peru played in all red with a white stripe. Maybe it is that the Danish red is a slight bit darker than the Peruvian one. I don't think there's that much of, of a difference. I think there would be a case if it was, for instance, Portugal, which almost has, uh, which is not as bright of a red. But yeah, I think I've said enough about it. I just don't get it. I really expected it at one, to be honest with you. I expected that Peru plays uh, in the white jerseys and that um, Australia will play in dark green or yellow. They play in red and yellow, it's fine. I didn't mind it. I, I was actually happy to see that red Peru jersey as well. So in that sense, I'm totally fine with it. I just I don't find any reason, rhyme and reason behind why Australia and uh, Denmark played in their alternate jerseys against each other uh, with the reasoning that uh, the jerseys are too similar. Well, that's it. I think I really have nothing uh, more to say and I really would like to say a lot more because I have, I have a big drive ahead still and I expect quite some traffic jam but there really is not much more that I can say so I will end it right here. Um, I hope that Group D will provide some drama um, if it doesn't provide drama in the game, I think it might uh, provide drama with Argentina exiting or making it. So there is a little bit more soap opera going on for sure. So I'm a little bit more hopeful there. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, and I will talk to you soon. I do have an addendum uh, that to the my Group C post-mortem, if you like. and. It is that it's really sad about Peru. They should have gotten a result against Denmark, then everything would have been much more interesting. Um, Peru played the best soccer in that group. They were the, by far the most entertaining team. They also had the best fans. Not only in this group, I think Peru has the best fans in the World Cup. I might be biased, but what those fans are doing, taking over cities, uh, taking over stadiums, but in a nice and respectful manner, I totally applaud. I really wish they would have gotten a result against Denmark. <coughs> At least a draw and everything would have been so much more interesting uh, going into this last um, day of play. Same thing can be said for Australia. They should have gotten more against Denmark. Um, yeah, Peru, I think, was doomed by the way the draw went. Um, if you're in this third position and then the sec uh, and you play first the second strongest team, so you basically have your final in the first game, that's never a good idea. And then you played the strongest team, so it was always kind of an uphill battle. You knew that they had to get something against Denmark and they should have. I'm still saying this is the result that hurt me most of all uh, as i said i'm all in i was all in on peru i still am very proud of what peru achieved i'm also proud of proud of australia and i actually was thinking of wearing my australia shirt today but then i said no i'm not gonna wear any shirt uh, i'm not gonna stick with it i'm not wearing the shirt uh, when they play i'm also proud of australia uh, in the sense that you didn't expect much of that team really I don't think anyone thought that Australia will do anything. They actually were thought of as giving up many goals, which they didn't. They uh, played hard against France and yeah, would have probably deserved the draw. They should have gotten the win against Denmark. In the second half, I think it was all Australia. Uh, so it's also sad. I'm also sad for the Aussies, I think. Um, while I think France should have advanced and I think Peru would have deserved it more than Denmark, honestly, I think Denmark France didn't show a thing, but I think France is exactly this team. They showed a little bit against Peru that yes, we could. If we wanted, we could. And also they showed a little bit even with the second string team today. So uh, more that Denmark, yes, they showed against Peru. We are good in defense and we can launch our counter attacks. But um, in a way, typically Scandinavian soccer, which is not enticing. Uh, so if I go just from that perspective, um, I think Peru would have deserved more than Denmark and given how the Australia game, I think even Australia would have 
deserved it more than Denmark with their limited abilities. Um, you might want to say I'm hating on Denmark. I just try to be as objective as I can be. And yeah, of course, my color, I'm wearing my kangaroo hat and my Inca hat. So yeah, uh, I will never uh, deny that. But yeah, I think those two teams, uh, I think Peru provided a lot of entertainment and Australia at least pulled up a fight and they were not worse. And I think it is a big credit to the Asian team so far that except for Saudi Arabia in the first game, uh, no Asian team really fell off. Uh, quite in contrast to what we saw in Brazil four years ago. So let me know what you thought about this final statement and everything before. Um, I think many of you, unless you're from Denmark or from Australia maybe, would say that uh, Peru is... It's sad that we have lost Peru in this tournament. They were probably one of the, one of the if not the most attractive side to watch. But yeah, you also need strikers and you also need to make goals and that's where Peru had, had, had the trouble. And probably the nerves got the better of them because if you, they make the penalty against Denmark, they win against Denmark, but yeah, that's life. And the World Cup will continue and will continue to dish up more inter uh, interesting games. And there are some more entertaining sites in there as well. But yeah, I'm sorry for Peru. That's all I can say. Well, let me know what you thought about this and I'll talk to you later. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.